Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. I am in a very rural area, a community that you probably never heard of or ever been to. Lachiel, Lachiel, Arizona. This is at the border of the United States and Mexico. It's out there in the middle of nowhere. To get here is a dirt road. I'm gonna show you where I'm at on a map and then I'm gonna show you around this area. La Shield. Now this place has some history, folks. It's old. And I'm gonna take you on a tour around here. La Shield. This is the beginning of La Shield. And this, there's a sign here. There's a sign here. Now this whole place is remote. But there's a sign here that says La Shield Road. Now look over here, folks. Look at this. Some old, first thing, right when you get into La Shield, you have the old schoolhouse, 1882, an old schoolhouse. It's like, wow. And look at this dirt road. It's the only way to get in here is a dirt road. Now, I don't know anything about this area and we're about to find out by going on a tour. And we're gonna go to the border with Mexico. This is like, whoa. First, let's go up to the school. Let's go up to the school and see what's going on at the school. We're gonna go look at the school here and see. Also, I noticed these gigantic trees at the beginning. Let's go on a tour, folks. La Shield. La Shield. So, the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bust the left and go up to this old schoolhouse. People actually go to school here? We're going to find out. We're going to find out what this is about. An old schoolhouse. Reminds me of a little house on the prairie. La Shield. Look at this area. Schoolhouse. This a notebook. Love the history here. So visitors, visitors can come here and write. Huh. Got cacti. Look at this. A little fireplace. The San Rafael Ranch. Huh. This is an old. Look at the back. What is that? This is interesting. And then I see this. Let's go look at the schoolhouse. Can you even go in the schoolhouse? Maybe. Look at this. Look at this. Oh wow, look. That is very interesting. And then I got a little, I don't know what that is. Wow. That is very, very interesting. And we got Indian wagon. Okay. Yeah. What we got going on here? 
wonder if we can go in. Old schoolhouse. Probably locked. Yeah, it's locked. Let's just look in. Oh, wow. So this is an old... Look at that. Wow. You got a swing set here. An old schoolhouse. No swing set. This is out here in the middle of nowhere, folks. So I think this is really, really cool. So let's move on. Let's see what else Lashiel has. Got an old schoolhouse. This community been here since the 1800s. Dirt road. In order to get here, you have to go on a dirt road. You have to go on a dirt road. Let's go see what's going on. Let's continue our journey. All right, now let's go on. Let's go on through the town of Mushio. past here. Well, let me know what you think. This is all that's here. Nothing. Just a small town called Lashiel.
There's somebody out there. Oh, by the way, I want to show you one more thing right up there. There's an old church oriented spot with a cross. Check it out. This is a landmark. That was interesting, right? So now I'm gonna, well, I'm still here. I'm gonna go another way. There's another road I was just looking at and I wanna get to the border of Mexico and show you guys um, whether there's a wall there or not. I don't know, I haven't been there yet. So let's keep going this way. And we're gonna go see if we can get Is it alright to drive that way? Um, depends on what your purpose is. <laughs> Journalist? Yeah, um, 
I mean, we're not bothering anybody. We're just seeing. No, it, so it just rains to the road. There's kind of like some tricky spots, yeah. and it's kind of overgrown. So just be careful. You got four wheel drive. Yeah. All right. Just, I mean, you'll you'll probably see it. It's not it's maybe a mile in. Yeah, yeah. It's that kind of barrier thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then, we're uh, just we're just covering the border stuff. You know what I mean? And then you cross that gate. Just make sure you close it. Gotcha. Other than that. Thank you. Uh, is any uh, people cross around here? We've had some give up groups, kind of where you guys were coming from over the there. The shield. Yeah. Um, man, it's wild. A uh, little bit. Uh, what is it? West of Nogales. Oh yeah, man. It's it's in relation to that area. It's it's quiet out here, but we're not just stuff's coming. In, we're just not seeing it because the terrain. Yeah, we've been terrible. covering Texas. Oh yeah. Yeah, Texas. The governor there uh, kind of tightened it down. You know, National yeah, Guard. And... Waiting to see what happens here, man. But. Well, that's up to your governor. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we, we know that ain't going to happen, be yeah, honest. No Whatever. Kidding. Just you two guys? Yeah, just us. Did you guys drive all the way from Texas? or did you run Well, and I rented a car in uh, Las Vegas. Okay. And then we just came down. We're, we're doing like Nogales. What about Naco in those areas? Like Naco, they've been pretty busy from what I hear, man. Like, But where where at? Dude? Like on the other side of the pass. So if you were to like take this road here, it takes you all the way up to Montezuma Pass. The other side of that pass is their area. Yeah. And they've had, I think just the other day, they had a group of 23 up in one of the, the saddles up there in one of the nasty areas. Can I get to Naco from this way? Yeah. So you just follow this road? Mm-hmm. Like where? Like, like I was, I thought I had to go back around. To no, pipe. no, you just take this road right here. This, uh, Is it safe to, you know, all the way? It'll yeah. just take you right to Naco. So it'll, you'll go, come up over the pass, drop down, a um, little, little windy road or whatever, and then you hit, you'll hit the pavement maybe, I don't know, at the very bottom. And then that takes you, it can take you back up to the Highway 90, I think it is. Yeah. Oh, so it does take you to 90. Yeah. But, I mean, as long as I kind of follow this type of road, it'll be all right. Like, yeah, like GPS this road, sucks around here. Yeah, so you'll take this all the way, and it'll kind of start curving north again. I don't know, maybe like probably 10, 15 miles down. Yeah. But curve north again, and you come to a split, and there's like one of our camera towers on the right side. You just turn, turn right, and it'll take turn you right. over the pass. Cool. All right. Yeah, I'm going to go in here just for a couple minutes, see what's up. Right. Have fun. Right. Be safe, yeah. right? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for what you guys are doing, by the way. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice to hear. All right. So Border Patrol said, hey, go ahead. Go ahead. Go check out. He said there's a gate up here. Just open it and close it. That guy was pretty cool.
all-wheel drive. We love our all-wheel drive. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna jump. Park right here. Oh, you see the border. You only see the border. These are one of these. Gate. One of these things. border wall folks this is your border wall <laughs> it is no wall it's a border anything can anyone can jump over back and forth this is it folks shield
except this is your border. This is your protection here. About five foot razor wire. Not much, right? Not much. Anyone can cross here. Anyone can cross into the United States illegally from Mexico. And it just goes on and on. Look, it goes on and on. shield had to go down a little bit farther to get to the border but this is the border and this is just nothing but fields and cows JLR investigates let me know what you think subscribe to the channel like hit the notification button learning about the border learning about areas where it's wide open we can say this is wide open we'll talk soon stay tuned